John, it's a bit of a different test tomorrow as we take on the New Saints in the SPFL Trust Trophy semi-final. What's your thoughts going into the game? I'm excited about the game. It's a change uh, from the rigours of the league and uh, teams in Scotland. It's a, a new thing for us to play a team from Wales. Uh, they're a very, very good team. They've scored 77 goals this season and uh, only conceded 14. That tells you a lot. They're a very, very attacking team, scoring loads of goals. Uh, we've I've not been down there and seen them live myself, but our uh, live uh, opposition analysis guy has been down, done a report on them, and we've got video footage of them. So the goalkeeper is particularly good with his distribution. He's excellent. He's got all the different variations you would want from a goalkeeper to find a way to get to get out. Uh, they're a possession-based team. They try to play from the back. But like a lot of teams now, because you've been playing and building the game, other opposition are trying to stop you. And so you have to find solutions to that. And the goalkeeper here, as I say, he's got all the tools in his locker to find different ways instead of trying to um, create an attack. So, <clears throat> as I say, the build for the back, trying to play through the phases. They've got good midfield players, really good midfield players. 4-3-3 with the ball, 4-1-4-1 without the ball. Two wingers who will come in a little bit narrower, uh, trying to get on the end of balls going up to the striker. But they're uh, a possession-based team who will play through as well. Fullbacks will go high. So we know a fair amount about them. They're a very, very well-coached team. Craig Harris has done a, you can tell immediately, he's done a really, really good job with them, with the way that they're set up. So there will be a challenge, definitely. You know, you get to a semi-final, there's no easy games in a semi-final. This will be... Uh, you know, a, a strange one for everyone because we're not we're not really used to playing this uh, you know this 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 type of team. So uh, it's, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. To be honest with you, I'm really excited about it because it's two good teams, good two good attacking teams who will try to deny each other the opportunity to attack by pressing. And how well we can come through that press and the counter press is going to be so important. And then how clinical we are at the top end of the pitch. You know, we've got players who can hurt them. Uh, if we are kind of like don't defend well, then the other players that can hurt us, and that all stacks up for a really good game, and that's exactly what it should be. Hopefully, we can come out on top and have a final to look forward to. We're having a great season. It would be nice to have uh, a cup final to look forward to, uh, but we've got to go out and do do the job tomorrow night it's on the television uh, under the floodlights here. You know, we've managed to produce some really good performances under those circumstances and particularly in this cup you know the last game against Dundee United was an excellent game we, we played so well and we had good games against uh, you know Queen's Park and India United as well so we'll, we'll produce some of our best performances in this cup and hopefully we've got another one in us, in, in us for tomorrow night and obviously last night was the kind of end of the transfer window for January could you just sort of sum up business and uh, just your thoughts on it yeah really pleased delighted that we didn't lose anyone you know of you know, obviously, we helped Brad uh, Mackay go out and, and Ola go out, but with regards to the rest, we were really delighted to keep everyone. Uh, that was that was also important, getting Ethan Ross extended earlier in the window, obviously, and Ryan Shanley coming in, and then more recently, Dylan Tate coming in, where everyone can see how, how well Dylan fitted in on Saturday when he came on the pitch. So, delighted with what we've got. You know, we, we know how many games we've got to play, feel that... Barring, you know, getting a horrific injury situation, which you can never tell, you know, we, uh, we've got enough to, to get to the end of the season. Uh, fairly, you know, as well as any, any other team can at this stage in the season, you, you can't predict. We don't have a crystal ball. We, we don't know who's going to get injured in what positions. Hopefully there's no, you know, we've more or less got a clean bill of health at the moment. Uh, and uh, long may that continue. So I think it's been a really, really good window for us. And obviously the news yesterday getting Liam Henderson extended. How important a player has he been this season? And I think you're just delighted to get the deal done. Yeah, obviously we've been talking about a few players. Cole was last week and we're delighted to get Cole on a, you know, the same lengthy contract as, as Liam. Uh, delighted to, that Liam, uh, we managed to agree, you know, terms with him for the, you know, up to the summer of 26, which is uh, great news. He's on a real good streak at the moment. Four goals in his last six games and uh, he's always a threat at set plays. He's always good at getting into that back post area, getting on the end of crosses. Uh, one in particular doing it here in the in the Challenge Cup, which was the winner in the, that game. And he's a good character. He's a good character in the dressing room. He's vocal. You know, he's he's a lively boy. He's enthusiastic. Uh, he loves the game of football. He loves being here at Falkirk. And uh, you know, I'm delighted to get that get that done. And we're building a team. You know, we're building a team. 
not just for till the end of the season, but beyond that. And uh, you know, that's who we're looking. Uh, we've brought in uh, Killian Adams as well. We should have mentioned in the uh, you know the last category there. He uh, he's one for the future to an extent. We we kind of got a tip off about him early in the season. I managed to watch him in a, in a game uh, against the Shire. He did really well. And again, I'd like to thank David Proctor and Dan Dodds for allowing uh, Keelan to come in and train with us. He's trained with us the last two weeks in January there, and uh, he's impressed us so much so that we wanted to offer him a contract. So we've to keep good relationships with Cumbernauld Colts, who's going back there uh, to end the season uh, on loan. So he's our player now, and again, in a contract uh, the summer of 26. So... All going well, he comes in here, well, he will go well, he'll come in here in the, the summer, then it'll be a full-time player, uh, and uh, it's a great opportunity for him to, you know, and compete and stake, uh, claim a place in the team for next season. Thanks, Dodd, and all the best for tomorrow. Thank you.